Hello, this is Ian Kwache from Cool Stuff Extreme Network. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your own brush. And this particular brush is a calligraphy brush. And it's very okay and very cool for signing up your names and writing. And you basically don't have to know how to write because it's going to do all the work for you. It has a particular way of writing with a twisted form like um, old Chinese calligraphy or the normal calligraphy we get from the calligraphy pen so let's get into it and start something first of all we have our page and then what i like to do is to select um, um, a round brush or you can choose any round brush from your default brushes i'll go for my round brush and from the round brushes i choose anyone anyone at all i'm going for this one then from here you go to where you can find your brush settings you can pull it down from the window and brush you can go to window brush uh, I'll pull mine from here so brush preset and then brush so this, this is the fun part first of all you realize that it's on ship dynamics and what ship dynamics does is uh, it gives it gives um, that kind of um, tapering towards the, the edges towards the, the very ends of the whole line you can get here that's from from our um, preview so you take it off so you can have round edges just like how it's supposed to be not tapering you can have round edges this is what we want and notice there's nothing checked here it's only a smooth and a rule which is okay the main thing is you just come here and first of all this one is 100% round so I'm talking about a complete circle I want it to be elliptical so um, we hold here, pull it back, pull it back. You see, it reduces the tip is to inside, makes it elliptical. I uh, let's go, let's go get something like this, which is okay for me. And then with an the angle, you change it to change to a positive angle. Let's say um, 40, 40 degrees is okay for me. And then, and then, well, the roundness should be a little bit smaller. Yeah, I think that that's that's all for now. This is what I want now. So let's go ahead and make some I don't know examples out, out of this. So here we I'm going to write some things down. And mind you I'm not really suffering when I'm writing this and then I'm going to I'm I'm not going to use my tablet to do that. I'm going to use the I'm going to use the, the, the touch part of my laptop to do that. So let's go ahead. Now the point is you, you wouldn't really know or have to know how to do stuff. So um so for, for, for graffiti itself if you're trying to tag or something, these, these are the things we use to tag your personal tag. Go like um for example if someone is called touch you can decide to spell his name this way. And, and that's his that's his um tag. If if someone is called let's say Paul Paul Two, Paul Two would be something like like this, Paul something like this and this this thing is very is very okay for for tagging and you can you can really learn a lot when you you use this um kind of brush and that's that's right I like writing graffiti yeah and 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 I'll, I'll go ahead and write a b c d and with the normal stuff, let's say A, B, C, D, E, F. Sorry, let me just skip some. some of them, you know. Let me just skip some of them. O, F. C, D, and we have our one, two, three, four, five, and and so on. So so this this is how the brush is. And um, I was asked the other time. So what if I like a brush I create and I want to 
actually save it. Let me go on what I want to. If you want to save a brush you like, first of all, you create, let's create a new, let's create a new document. This is okay, whatever I take. A very small document. Um, actually, I, I don't want it to, I don't want the document to have a background. So, I'm deleting the background. And then, and then, for, for, the, for that particular brush, you can save it. You can save it, but I'm talking about a different brush now. Assuming this is the brush, assuming this is the brush and you want to save it, it's so easy. You create your brush this way, you go to, you go to file, you go to, so you, you create, you go to edit, you go to define brush preset, and then, then you save it from there. But that's not what we are doing today, so, if you're okay with this particular brush, that we just tweak now, you can, from here you can, you see this little thing here, you can just go there, it's adding you to create a new brush, whatever, you, you change the name, then oh, you hit okay, that's all. That's all, so, and let it just come in handy, you shouldn't, I don't think you should really save this, unless you're making a brush process on its own. So you just see, um, change it this way, maybe you have to sign something, well that's my name, so, sign something, blah 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 blah. And that's it. So that, that's a wonderful brush you have there. So have a nice time. Bye-bye.